Welcome back to another segment of Radio Entrepreneurs, the story of sharing uh, success of entrepreneurship and talking about entrepreneurs in general. In our studios today, we have Chris Bond from Murphy Business. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Peter. Good to be here. It's good to have you here. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Murphy Business? I know you've been on before. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's it's always worth reminding the listeners of who you are. <laughs> so we're called Murphy Business. We're business brokers. So essentially, we do two things. One is help a business owner understand the likely market value of their little company. And then two is helping them sell it at the right time. Th those are interesting concepts. I mean, it, it's interesting. I just represented a client uh, who just sold their business. Yeah. And that was a real problem is trying to figure out what the valuation was. And I engaged a valuator that I knew. Uh, if I'd known you, I probably would have called you. Uh, but, you know, finding uh, the right valuation is tricky, yeah. especially in, you know, the small and midsize ma and pa businesses. What size businesses do you generally represent? They're all under $5 million in revenue, under a half a million in earnings. So oh. this is real ma and pa. This is real ma and oh, pa yeah. stuff, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so tell me how you came to do this. Uh, almost by accident, I was a sales consultant for the 12 years prior to getting into this line of work six years ago. And I just met a couple of business brokers along the way and had a, a fascination with, hmm, that, I feel like I do important work, but that feels like more important work. And it felt like the, uh, the graduation of the work that I was doing as a sales consultant. So picture me in my past helping people with top line revenue growth. What I thought was maybe a little bit more important was the impact of revenue growth on earnings, on value, and how that might position them for sale when they're 65, 70, 75 years old, which is really my entire world. It's made up of people whose kids don't want the business and whose, employ whose employees can't afford the business. They gotta find another way out. It, it, it's amazing how many businesses there are out there where you know, there's no succession. I mean, I, I, I find it fascinating in my practice, which is not too dissimilar from yours. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably a, a little more uh, technical involvement in my side, but maybe not. And uh, I do find a lot of people don't have a clue about where to start. So do people come to you too late to, to you know, kind of get a good valuation or, or do a plan? I mean, do, do you find people coming to you you know, at the moment they want to make the sale? Not typically. Uh, it, that's you, interesting. It is, yeah, because that's a recent change in the last couple of years, and I credit that to my network. So everything I work on is a result of a referral from an accountant, an attorney, an investment banker, it might be a valuation specialist, it could be a business coach. And four, five, six years ago, sure. Yeah, I was getting the folks that were burnt out, out of gas, want to be out yesterday. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. And that is so tricky. And I made every mistake you can name by taking on those projects. I don't think you can make a mistake in those situations. They're so desperate. <laughs> well, that's fair, except that maybe the reason they're so desperate is the business can't be sold. And that's that's what I learned yeah. the hard way. Skinned yeah. a lot of knees figuring things out along the way in this new, uh, this new uh, line of work. So in the last couple of years, what I've found is my network is leading me to those people who get that it's a process and who understand that that process could take 6, 12, 18, 24 months. So I'm really thrilled with the projects I'm being led to now and in the last couple of years. It's more people that are reasonable, flexible, open-minded. They understand that nobody's getting out tomorrow. Even if it were sold tomorrow, you're not getting out tomorrow. There's going to be a transition period. 